today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I did this very easy turquoise marble stone nail design that I promise is way easier than it looks. So when I first went to plan out this design, I actually was going to do this using a like a similar technique to water marbling, but with hairspray. And then I realized I had um, a stepping plate with the images that I wanted on it. And I'm like, you know what, we're going to go with that instead. And I'm really happy I chose to do that. So I'm just stamping black as well as um, gold. And I just did this on all the nails that I need the black and gold to be. I will be honest when I say that when I actually did this nail design, I absolutely loved it. It actually has become one of my all-time favorite nail designs that I've done. And it is just, it was so much fun to do. I just did a half black, half like turquoise color on that nail. And somehow I must have forgot to record me doing the dry brush of the gold, but I'm just adding some turquoise polka dots. Now I also wanted to do the classic nail design where you do like one half of it being marble and then the other half of it being black for the thumbnail. I will have everything linked in the description box below. Now I did add some top coat here because I wanted this to be sticky for the gold nail foil. And I just applied this using a very small dotting tool. All right, so I'm just gonna keep adding the gold foil. And lastly, I'm actually going to be adding some nail crystals. So I wanted this design to be very simplistic. I did not want to override it with crystals, so I only did a few on two of the nails. So I chose to do like a turquoise color, black, and I did a very small crystal cluster on the index finger, and then a few on the ring finger. Like I said, I did not want the crystals to overtake the design. I want them just to be a really pretty accent. But of course, if you want to add more crystals, you totally could do that. I just like to keep crystals very minimal as I'm not a crystal lover on my nails. <laughs> It tends to drive me kind of insane. And lastly, I'm just going to be adding a top coat. Now, of course, you can do whatever finish you want of a top coat. I chose to do shiny, but you can, of course, do matte if that is something that you prefer. One thing I'm going to say, though, is, is that if you are planning to wear this design for a longer period of time, definitely make sure that you secure the crystals to the nail plate using or to the nail polish using nail glue and not top coat because I just did that for the sake of the video. If I was going to wear this design with the crystals on it, I would definitely add nail glue as that will be a much stronger hold. And that is it for this video.